Hi everyone, and welcome to my picks for the most anticipated films of 2015. There was over 100 movies that I'm excited about. I whittled it down to just 12 movies, and the only order that they're going to be in are their release dates. First one comes out March 6th. This weekend, it is called Chappie. This is the brand new film directed by Neil Blomkamp, who I uh, love District 9. He gave us District 9 in 2009, and then in 2013, he gave us Elisa, which I really enjoyed. And then in a few years from now, we're going to get an alien movie from him. I, I, I'm excited about that now. But with this film, Chappie, it looks like a really gritty, dark, uh, hopeful, emotional look or take on what happened in a film that I love from the 80s called Short Circuit. You know, I think a lot of people who saw the trailer, initial trailer for this movie thought of that movie. And I love uh, Johnny Five Alive. And, and this looks like it's going for the same approach except for being R-rated and violent. And hopefully there's a, some great moments of sadness and happiness. And I like that. I like the cast. But I also like the fact that it's incorporating this band from South Africa. Don't remember what their names are, but uh, I kind of like them, and I just—it's really, really interested to see them act for the first time in a movie. But again, Neil Blomkamp is one of my favorite directors, especially in the sci-fi world. So I'm excited for Chappie when it comes out. Next one comes out May 15th. It is the brand new film directed by George Miller, who started this franchise in the beginning. It is Mad Max: Fury Road. Uh, the trailers are some of the best trailers I've seen in quite a long time and I love the music, I love the look, I love the cast and I can't wait to see this all come alive on the big screen. I want to see it in IMAX and I hope some of the music that's incorporated in the trailer is also incorporated in the movie itself. I love George Miller. I like the fact that he works, uh, and he makes all kinds of movies. He's worked on movies for the family like Babe and Happy Feet and movies uh, for an older generation like Lorenzo's Oil, some dramas like that. And of course he created Mad Max with Mel Gibson and now he's working with Tom Hardy and this great, cla this amazing cast. I, I just, I, I, I'm so blown away by this trailer. I've watched it so many times and I never got tired of it and I just can't wait to see this movie. It looks amazing and a great return for uh, from a great director. I believe hasn't made a live action movie since the second Babe film. He produced the first Babe film, directed the second one, and then went on to make Happy Feet 1 and 2. And now he's back with this hopefully R-rated violent sci-fi classic. Hopefully. Next one comes out May 22nd. It is Tomorrowland. I uh, just, I love the teaser trailers to this movie that just give us a little bit. Don't give us a lot, but just give us enough to get us excited. And every time I see this young woman, this actress in the film, pick up this pin and it changes into this world where she transports and then she lets go and she's back in her world and then she picks it up again. Those moments, just I get chills all over my body. And of course this comes from director Brad Bird, who is known for making some amazing animated films for Pixar and Warner Brothers. And of course he directed Mission Impossible 4 a couple years ago. I don't know what this film is about. I know it stars George Clooney, and that's all I really want to know. I've only seen the two initial trailers. I think everybody has only seen the two initial trailers, uh, including the Super Bowl one, and I'm just sold. I, I don't want to see any more. I just want to see this film right now, and I definitely can wait just a couple more months. I think we've got less than three months and the movie's coming out. So excited, and it doesn't feel like it's going to be just a cash grab for Disney. It looks like it's really going to try and tell an interesting, compelling science fiction story of some kind. Don't know, don't care, just want to see the movie right now. Next one comes out June 12th. It is return of an amazing franchise that I just really love, especially the first film, but now we're returning with Jurassic World. And this comes from director, I can't remember what his name is, but of course he gave us Safety Not Guaranteed a few uh, years ago. Really loved that indie film. So I'm hoping that this is, has uh, a mainstream vibe and it gives you uh, the same feelings that we had, at least from the first Jurassic Park film, even though I like the Jurassic Park 2 and 3. Nothing compares to Jurassic Park, the original. But I hope it has the same vibe. And then also, there's, a, a, there's that indie vibe that this director has come from. And I like the cast. I'm just glad to be in this world. And I can't wait to see all the chaos happen. And the special effects look really great. I love the initial trailers to this movie. And I'm, I'm hoping it incorporates some of the old music from John Williams. Of course, uh, give us a new score. But I'm just really excited to be back in Jurassic Park or Jurassic World or wherever they want to call this stuff. Uh, I hope this creates a new franchi franchise. I hope this movie is excellent so it does create a new franchise. Again, I, I, I'm a fan of the original and I can't wait for this new adventure. 
Next one comes out August 14th. It is straight out of Compton. This is the story, true story of NWA, which I'm not too aware of. I know that it was Ice Cube and Easy E and Dr. Dre were all part of this group. And this is, of course, the return. He hasn't directed a film in a while from director F. Gary Gray, who, of course, directed Ice Cube in Friday. Uh, the trailers to this movie just really look very fascinating, and I'm I'm excited. I really hope this movie is excellent. I would love to see it garnished with awards if it lives up to that. Um, it just looks like a very compelling, interesting biopic. And a few years ago, I saw a film called Notorious about Notorious B.I.G., and I was very moved by that film, even though I didn't know much about his life. So I'm hoping that this is the same with Straight Outta Compton. It just looks uh, like it's going to try and be as true as possible to the subject matter. Paul Giamatti looks great in the film. The cast looks great. A lot of unknowns. So excited to see who blossoms out of this film. And again, I, I, since I don't know my, much about this subject matter or the rap community, I'm not a big aficionado when it comes to hip-hop, I'm excited to learn something. I'm hoping that we learn something about censorship and about freedom of speech and about what happened in Los Angeles during that time. Very excited. Next one comes out October 2nd. It is a brand new film directed by Robert Zemeckis. It is The Walk, which is a true story as well. And this movie, uh, uh, I'm just excited about it because of the subject matter and what happens. Now, if anybody has seen the documentary, oh gosh, I just forgot it again. Let me see if I can remember it. Uh, the documentary Man on Wire, which won the Oscar uh, a few years ago, directed by James Marsh, who of course just directed The Theory of Everything. Uh, then you know the story, but if you don't, more power to you, because I think this is going to be an awesome film. And I hope it's a great character study. Joseph Gordon-Levitt is in the film, and I just love the films of Robert Zemeckis. So I'm just really excited to see this film, and I, I, I love the story of this movie. And of course it's about uh, a man who uh, does something amazing, and this is... I think this happened a few years or maybe a year after uh, the World Trade Center was built back in the 70s. So just happy and excited to just see the, another Robert Zemeckis movie. Next one comes out October 16th. It is Crimson Peak. This is the brand new old school horror film directed by Guillermo del Toro. We got a trailer for it, I believe, uh, when uh, Fifty Shades of Grey came out. And I, that was the first time I ever saw the trailer to that movie, and I've heard uh, about this movie for a while now, and it, it just looks uh, so fascinating. And that's what you expect from that great director. He just he, he can really create an interesting world and make it and, and do something that's original and fun at the same time. Probably honors the genre where it actually came from. Again, we we need we need some old school horror films, and this looks like it's going to be it. Uh, check out the trailer. Uh, I don't think you'll, you, I don't think anybody will be disappointed, at least by the trailer. Uh, I love the cast. Uh, again, Guillermo del Toro is one of my favorite filmmakers, and I'm just excited for him to be a part of this horror world again. He did a great job with Pan's Labyrinth and all of his films. I, I love all of his films, even the ones that maybe weren't that successful. And I'm excited for him also to return to Pacific Rim whenever that happens. But Chris and Pete looks awesome, at least from the initial trailer. And just excited because love, love Guillermo. Love, love Guillermo. Also on October 16th, we have the brand new film directed by Steven Spielberg and starring Tom Hanks. Don't know really much about this film. Just know it's a Cold War drama. And it is called St. James Place. I don't know anything about this, but uh, Steven Spielberg is my favorite filmmaker of all time. He's the reason why I'm talking today, especially about film. As you can see the shirt, you can kind of see him in there. Uh, just don't know what this is about, but very excited to see another film directed by Steven Spielberg. And also, I, I hope that he also does more fantasy films before he gets too old. But that's all about. That's all I can say about that. That's it. On November 6th, we have the brand new Bond film, Spectra. And just so happy that Sam Mendes and Daniel Craig are working together again. Monica Bellucci and Christoph Waltz are new to the cast and just... We don't know much about this film at all, just the title, and that it's Bond 24, and that some of the people that worked on the uh, last film, Skyfall, which I absolutely loved, are working on this one. So, can't be more excited uh, than I already am about this film, and I know nothing about it. Just, just, just love Bond. Just really grown to love Bond, and if they can make something better than Skyfall, that would be awesome. Next one comes out November 13th. It is a brand new film directed by Quentin Tarantino, The Hateful Eight. 
And what more can I say? I don't know much about this. We we knew the, we know the cast. I don't remember who the cast are, but I don't care. I just love Quentin Tarantino. He's again one of my favorite filmmakers, and I'm just very excited to see him come out with another movie. I don't know how many more movies he's going to make before he retires. So hopefully he'll make a couple more movies after this because in my eyes he has never made a bad film. Never, 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 ever. Uh, especially everything he made after Reservoir Dogs. I don't know what he made before, but after Reservoir Dogs, everything is some of the greatest films I've ever seen in my entire life. And I hopefully The Hateful Eight will be one of those. Next one is hopefully the last film of a franchise because I love this franchise. November 20th, we're going to have The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. I wish we got that film uh, with the last one, I wish they just would have tied it up with one film. Of course, it's all about money, but I'm hoping that this will be a great close to this amazing franchise. And I honestly, I don't want to see this franchise. If they're going to make more movies to, to this with this franchise, wait 10 years and then make some more movies if you want to. I don't know if there's any more books, but I'm excited to see this story close. I love Katniss and her journey and her life story and this whole universe that has been created. I've loved it since the beginning when I saw the movie. I never read the book until after I saw the initial movie, but I've loved it ever since 2012 when I saw that first film. And it really opened my eyes to how uh, such an amazing actress Jennifer Lawrence is. And I'm looking forward to seeing where she goes in her career. And maybe one day she'll have more Oscar nominations than Meryl Streep. She's just that good in my opinion. Just love her. She's so beautiful and she's just a great actress. And I'm really excited to see this franchise come to an end. And finally, of course, I'm a huge fan of, uh, this is one of the franchises that uh, made me love cinema in the beginning, and I can't believe that we're getting more of the Star Wars films. I just can't believe it. And of course, on December 18th, J.J. Abrams is bringing us Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. I don't know what else I can say. Uh, that first initial teaser was really great to see. I'm looking forward to the next trailer and I honestly I almost don't want to see anything more right now. I just want to see the movie. J.J. Uh, Abrams is, is one of my favorite young filmmakers working today. I love his filmography, what he's done in Mission Impossible and Star Trek and Super 8 and I'm excited to see what he does with Star Wars. I, I, I just hope this is an amazing film. I, I hope it's a good film and goes beyond the goodness that I'm hoping. Uh, I just, I don't know what it's about, and I don't care. I just want to go in and see it. It looks like it's going to be uh, more faithful to what we love about Star Wars, what I love about Star Wars. So just very excited. It's coming out in December. We've got less than a year. And on top of that, we're going to get more Star Wars movies the following year, and, and then we're going to get more with this new trilogy. Just can't be more excited about Star Wars The Force Awakens. That's it. Those are 12 movies. Of course, there's more that I'm, I, I, I would love to talk about in the comment box below. What are you excited about seeing in 2015? If I didn't name those movies, put in the comics, comment, comment box below. I didn't name any comic book movies. I don't think I named any comic book movies. So that's pretty cool. Even though I'm excited about some of the comic book movies that are coming out. But in the comment box below, put some comments down and let me know what you are excited about seeing this year. It looks like it's going to be an amazing year and I'm looking for all the indie films and hopefully the film festivals I get to go to and, and I would love to see some, some surprises. I would awesome, I'll also love to see films with terrible trailers. I walk in there thinking, oh, this is going to be a terrible movie and then it just surprises me. That's what I'm looking forward to as well. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching. I am Movie Man Chad. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. Also go to Long Beach Acting and Film Association right here on Facebook and Twitter. Please also go to MoviePile.com. And if you enjoyed this review, video, update, anticipation 2015 video, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. In the meantime, have a great day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful life, and I'll talk to you in my next video on YouTube. Live film, everybody. Bye. Peace be with you.